It's a 70 kilometre road in Helmand province, but it's not just any old road. It's the lifeline for British troops in Afghanistan. Supported by the Household Cavalry, the 1st Battalion Irish Guards are responsible for it and the daily battle to keep it open. Lorna Ward joined them and has this exclusive report on the massive job they face to keep Highway 1 moving. IED number two, spotted in time. But one minute earlier, just feet away, injured three Afghan soldiers. A few kilometres outside Goreshk, and it's been a busy morning for the Irish Guards and their Afghan National Army colleagues. Tonight, the insurgents came back and uh, placed a device on the side of the road to try and target you know, the government's work, I suppose. Um, what we're doing now, clearly, is the NA got a cordon in place, which is quite good, um, and plan to ID assets coming down to the best get a target area. Tell exactly just what's happened and make sure the area is safe before we move on to another incident. As the counter IED task force scour the ground, they find another device and we're told to move back. It could take hours to clear this small patch, but the road can't stay out of action for long. This is the Ring Road of Afghanistan. It covers over 2,000 kilometres. It starts in the east in Kabul, runs south to Kandahar, through Helmand province, up to the west in Herat, and then as far north as Mazari Sharif. Nearly half the population of Afghanistan live within 50 kilometres of Highway 1. The single lane road is key to trade and communications for civilians. It's also a vital lifeline for troops. And the insurgents need it, so they've tended to avoid direct hits, but not anymore. Certainly the last two weeks have seen a, a marked increase in activity. Um, along the highway. I think that should be viewed as testament to the fact that the Taliban view us now as, as a threat and, and the ANA as a threat. Um, and the fact that we have, the, Tal the ANA have done such a good job in securing the highway, they're now testing us and obviously trying to break our, our grip on the highway. Tested in the last 24 hours alone to the tune of several IED fines, a direct hit on a patrol and a suicide car bomb. The Afghan National Army control the highway from checkpoints at regular intervals. The Irish Guards advise them on tactics and patrol with them. They operate out of the bustling town of Goreshk, which is not without its own challenges. Got the gates there and just straight in the middle of, the middle of a lot of people, a lot of vehicles, and it's, and it's quite uh, like daunting sometimes when you think any one of these people could be because so much drops them, you never know, you never know what, what, what's going to come round the corner, what's going to come from the back of a, a wagon, a bus or anything. So, yeah, you, you never know what to expect coming up the gates. But. As we come out of the gates and weave between the hundreds of convoys, one thing's clear, getting the country's economy back on track depends in large part on this road staying safe and staying open. Lorna Ward, Forces News, Goreshk.